Okay, once the clean ROM is downloaded, go ahead and open up Flash Fire. Grant that root access. Agree to the disclaimer. Go into Actions. Hit the plus sign. And then select Wipe. Make sure that you don't select anything else. Just go with what is already there and click the check mark. Click the plus button again. And then choose Flash Zip or OTA. From there, we're going to go to our download folder and select our ROM. Click the check mark. Okay, then we'll scroll down and flash. Select OK. It says it can take a minute or two for flash fire to load. Black screen may happen twice for up to half a minute. So we'll go ahead and select OK. And just know that this is going to take you know at least five to ten minutes to do its thing. So don't freak out if it seems to be taking a while. So here you guys can see Flash Fire is loading. Okay, once it's loaded, it's going to go ahead and begin flashing your ROM. So you guys can see the action down here. It's installing Clean ROM 1.0. Now, Scrossler has mentioned in his ROM thread that for some people, uh, when they flash the ROM for the first time, if they've had the device for quite a while, for some reason, Flash Fire has a problem with wiping data. So you may want to try wiping data in stock recovery first and then run this. You may have a little more success. Um, otherwise, you may soft brick your device. That may require you to Odin back to factory settings. I'll be sure to include a link in the description just in case you encounter a soft brick. Once you've Odin back to stock, uh, you should be able to flash the ROM no problem. Now that actually happened to me the first time I tried to flash it. I ran into some issues. I Odin back to stock. And then this is the second attempt at actually flashing the ROM. You guys can see there, it worked just fine. My phone is now booting up. So as soon as this boots up, we'll take a quick look at Clean ROM 1.0. Okay guys, so once the phone boots, you'll need to set up your device again since you did wipe data. Uh, all your applications and data will be gone. It's basically like running a brand new phone directly out of the box. But as you guys can see, this has been uh, cleaned up and de-bloated. And this is basically the purest form of TouchWiz for the Galaxy S6 Edge and S6. So basically all the Verizon applications and all of the Amazon bloat have been removed. The only things that are included here are things like visual voicemail and a few other necessities. It is pre-rooted with SuperSU and BusyBox already installed. So you'll see that we have SuperSU there and BusyBox is already integrated. And you guys can see we only have one page of apps here because it has been de-bloated to the extreme. Another thing that this includes is the removal of Knox. And of course it has the stability and performance of clean ROM. I've also noticed uh, several people have claimed incredible battery life. So battery life should be improved on this ROM because that has been tweaked. And we'll just take a look at what we have here. These are the Google apps that come installed. Anything that's missing as far as Google apps can be added with the Play Store. Um, Samsung apps that are included here. We have the Messages app, S Health, S Voice, and Smart Remote. We have Tools. Uh, calculator memo, my files, voice recorder, and then a few little Verizon apps, the mobile hotspot, my Verizon mobile, setup wizard, and voicemail. Okay, we'll go ahead and test out the tether just to see. Normally the clean ROMs have tether uh, support included. So it's checking for subscription status. So native tethering is not included in this particular build, but I'm sure that will be added in later builds. Okay, other than that, guys, just incredible performance. Of course your camera is going to work perfectly, Bluetooth, everything should work perfectly considering that this is not an AOSP ROM, this is a TouchWiz ROM based on Samsung's kernel. Uh, so everything here will be working perfectly, there should be zero bugs, basically you just have a cleaned down, de version of TouchWiz for the Galaxy S6 Edge.